सो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल गाइज आई होप यू एन्जॉइंग दिस सीरीज एंड दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी गोइंग टू क्रिएट आवर थर्ड फंक्शन विच इज द फॉर गॉड फंक्शन सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले दैट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिक्लेयर दिस फंक्शन सो इट्स टाइप its name is for god first we need to make instance of our structure so it's going to be u so let's make file pointer and open our file which we created in, in our previous video and if you haven't watched that video please watch it before heading to this video because that video is the part of our c project now let's open that file with the help of f open function in read mode because we're going to be reading our password and the username so that we can show the detail of the account now let's read the record and the detail of the user and, and to read one record from the text file or the binary file we need to use a function called fread function it is the same function which we used earlier in our login function video first the structure in which we uh, we will be storing our details second the size of the structure the third one is how many records we want to read and the fourth one is a file pointer now we'll give three choices to the user to search his account and his password the first one is to search by his username the second one is to search by his password and the third one is to search by his phone number ask the user to enter his choice and we'll take the choice in its character type variable now we need to declare this variable so let's declare now we need to start a switch case and in the switch case we will create the cases according to our choices so let's declare the first case that is choose by username so first let's print enter your username and we will take the input in a string called username let's declare the string now we'll compare this username to our saved username so if both the strings are not of the same length that means the username entered by the user is not the same as the, as our saved username so in that case we'll print and if the strings are of same length that means the username entered by the user is the same as of our saved username and in that case we'll show the details of the account so let's print and in the detail first we will print the username of the user and the second one is first name and the third one is last name now our first case is complete now we are going to make our second case which is search by password so let's make second case 
and it's gonna be similar as as our first case so let's just copy our first case and we have to make some changes in it first of all let's make it case 2 second one is enter your password not username and for that we need to declare another string called password let's call it password now let's declare password so let's make it u dot pass one because our saved password is in the pass one string and here the password which we're gonna compare and rest is the same as of the first case so our second case is completed now let's head it to our third case and the third case is also similar to our first and the second case the only thing we need to change is here the third and the third case is search by phone number so let's enter phone number and here we need to declare a new string called phone let's declare it change it to the phone and the rest is also same to our first and the second case so the third case is completed now the fourth case is in the fourth case uh, we'll give the choice to the user to return back to the main menu and to do this we have to use a function called return and if the user enters any of the other number instead of these cases we'll print and now we need to close our file so let's close we just forgot to add our fourth choice which is return to the main menu let's enter So let's run this code and check if our code is running properly or not. First, let's create account. So our account is created successfully. Now let's check our third function which is the forward function. and it's working correctly let's check our second case which is the password and our password was iron and it is also working correctly now at the last let's check our third case which is search by phone number and our phone number is 1234567 and it is also working correctly so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video this video is the part of our c project playlist and if you haven't accessed this playlist, please check out this playlist also. In the next part of this video, we will create our fourth function, which is the change password function. So subscribe to our channel for the future updates and I will see you next time.